the chief minister and I told Mr. Parekar's office that we are bringing Goa's only cardiologist so he can check whether Mr. Parekar, Mr. Manor Parekar has still a heart. Over to you, Mr. Uh, Dr. Gulasu. Mogad Pound of Bunindo Tunka Mai Mogaso Yuka. I need the body sign down that. Zai Sana Mulla Kitri body signs no Tumsana Kitat. Sogle Ulopiani, Bori Bashin, Apri Magni Sadar Kile. And if Sogle Sanpa Sate, then he sang it. The Kun Antori Chutran Mugi Bashan Sopoita Tumche Mukal Torins Magadiga Iris Baban Sangila. That that day we were told that Manohar Parikar is physically incapacitated. Thank you, thank you. But the officer who met us refused to tell anything further. But I know from reliable sources that Manohar Parikar is also mentally incapacitated. You can take it from me. So first of all, you know, he is in an irreversible comatose state. He cannot act, cannot react, cannot dictate, cannot be dictated. He is absolutely out of touch with the surroundings. Poile magade mujhe teke kutubak. I request his children, you know. On my knees, I request them. Please tell this, all these people, Tendulkar, Amit Shah, Modi, all of them, you know, who are playing a fuss with your dad, to stop it right away. And let Mr. Manohar Parikar face death with the small ounce of respect that remains in him. We don't wish him to die. Many people say, why are you talking like this, Dr. Plus? Tomorrow your turn will come also. Yes, I know that my turn will come. And maybe very soon also. But if something happens to me, although I'm not a public person, I will not make it a secret. I will tell everyone. And I will not allow anybody to make political or any sort of capital over my illness. Now I wish to request the press. The press has been too good for us. They really have been a pillar. Today, that day also for March, you know, they were there in very good numbers. And they are very, very powerful. So my request is, instead of feeding us with all those updates about Parikar, please request a press conference with him. <laughs> and you yourself should go there and find out the real state of this comatose chief minister of ours. <laughs> and if he doesn't take you, please stop giving any updates anymore and teach this BGP monsters a lesson of life. <laughs> that day when we had that Morsha, Zayat Sangatan Asli, Sosta Asli, Nagarik Asli, Ani Andar Pusasile, Utendukar and Tekit Santai, policemen were more than the participants. Atapuya to me, we were innocent participants, peaceful demonstrators. 
you know how the police is, you know. Tendulkar and they should first tackle the terrorists in the BJP and in their own cabinet, then come after us. We know how to be peaceful. They are peaceful people. Andadi Tendulkar. Eh? And then I have to tell you another thing. Ajami Ngailai, Tenkwadiu Park, Amche Pawak, Rajan Gati, Toitlo Nawadik, Famad Munis, Kirti Bond, Imanto, Namar Sabaviso, Anteka Sudor Nahulo, Untoro Santeko Ului Loto, Muji Kari Sarke, Moar Zale. I am really fallen in love with him. But he has left everything to come here. I am really fallen in love with him. I am really Congressman, <laughs> Ami, Mote Pramanan, Ange Andolan, Suru Kurta. I, for myself, I am totally for this cause. I've told even my patients and my family if I am arrested, I will go to the prison. You may have to do without me. <laughs> Not that I'm very necessary. <laughs> But let the shit counting go. Not only to these monsters in the BJP, but also to that lady who sits in Donna Paul. <laughs> who watches everything, you know, like a silent spectator. Shame on her. <laughs> so, my dear brother, let us unite. Let us unite. Because what is going on is not only cruelty, it is barbarism at its worst. Thank you very much.